There's our camp. A little fire. Peter's gonna get some firewood. Lots of firewood around, but it's burns quick. Burns quick. This will be. We're gonna make a camp out of this. I'm gonna build something here. I don't know how yet. It's not gonna happen today because we're gonna probably leave here in a an hour or two, anyways. You can see Peter moving in the background there. Getting firewood. That was our makeshift fire for the day. This was a makeshift camp, but we're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna build a camp here for sure. That way when we can't make it to the island, we can always come here, so. Good idea. You know, it's been three weeks since we've been out to the island now, and I really wanna build some shit out there. Maybe I should tell Peter about this tree. <laughs> this is a gold mine of wood. Oh, there he goes. Our life jackets, uh, kind of seems funny, eh? We're in the middle of the woods and we got life jackets, so. Right on. <laughs> we thought we were gonna make it to the island. Not sure what's out this way. It's not too far from here. Here's the, the point of the peninsula. I don't know if you can see the lake in the background there, but I'm not gonna walk, try to walk through that. That's just crazy. But yeah, you can definitely see the lake. Oh, that looks like a good log to burn there. Rotten. Yeah, that's the lake there. And then around that corner a bit would be the island that we normally go to. Hard to keep my balance in the snow. It's pretty cool. It's pretty warm. It's starting to cool off now. It's got to be probably minus two, minus three maybe. It's, a, it's cooling off a bit. It probably got up to plus two today. Anyways, I don't know if we're going to make it back out to the island this winter. Because some of the lake freezes and then some of it just seems to be very stubborn and refused to freeze the last couple weeks, which is weird because it's been very cold. But, like I've said before, the previous, well, you guys have seen the videos. If you watch the early videos, you know, with the boat, those would have been back in like October, November. You know, that's that's great. It's, it's, I, we love it, man. It's got a trolling motor. You know, I got uh, three deep cycle batteries I bring with me, two deep cycle batteries and a battery booster pack. It's great, plywood floor, but it's heavy. You know, you got the batteries and the motor and the plywood floor. And hand pumping is not really an option. You want to use the pump off your car or something. So you want to be near like a boat launch sort of thing. But So it's not really an appropriate mode of transportation right now at this time of year. But soon, I can't wait because it's so much fun. I, mean, I love getting on a boat, serious horsepower and stuff, but something about a rubber dinghy with a plywood floor sitting on a lawn chair with a trolling motor is very relaxing. And I'm sure you'll enjoy the videos when I when I start taking videos there in the soon, I mean probably a month or so. Probably a month or so we'll be out there with the boat. I'm gonna run like a I'm gonna run like a beam from here and I'm gonna span it. I was going to bring it down to there and kind of do the lean-to thing, but I think I might bring it up four or five feet to where my coat is here, and then tarp on either side, man, and we'd have a pretty decent shelter here. Because this fire, if I keep this place here as a fireplace, Peter's got it roaring, there would be tons of heat coming into our shelter right now if I had a shelter built here, so. Three weeks since we've been out to the island, so. Whatever. We will adjust. So I guess we'll probably make a little shelter here. And this is where we can come practice when we can't get to the island. Again, the benefit here is the wood. There's so much burnable wood here. We're on the island, it's all twigs. But, you know, you can see he's got twigs on there. I mean, that amount of twigs, I would get a couple of hours 
of good hot burn time with my rocket stove, with our, sorry, our rocket stove. It's, uh, that's probably enough there, Pete, for now, eh? Put that off to the side, maybe? Well, I don't want to, I don't want to catch the forest on fire. Second wood pile, like, we've already blown through that twice. Exactly. Peter's got a roar, he just fires everything on there, so these, I'm just under six feet, so I'm 5'11"-ish. <laughs> And those flames are all day long. Whoa. It's all soft, but it burns quick, but I'll tell you, it does put off some heat. It's warm. Whew. Yeah. Anyways, we're in the, the thick of this. It is thick here. Forest is awesome in the winter. You don't understand. There's no bugs. You just gotta dress for them. No big deal. Anyway, guys, I'll be back here in a few minutes. I'm gonna. Uh, I think I'm gonna grab a cigar. I do like to have a cigar when I come out here. So I think it's just about time to grab a cigar. So uh, I'll be back. <laughs> 